Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I'm gonna try self lash lift that many people have been doing these days. I don't know exactly how it is overseas, but in Korea, there are a lot of self lash lift kits being advertised and sold, so many people do it on their own. I think a lot of people do lash lifts because it makes your eyes look much clearer without makeup, and you can easily apply on mascara without needing to use a curler. It also seems that many people do it a lot because their eyelashes are bent downwards and may often poke their eyes. I've only done eyelash extensions a long time ago, but I've never done a lash lift before. I recently had the opportunity to try it out and thought that it was okay to do it myself, so I wanted to introduce it to you guys. In Korea, there are many brands with eyelash lash lift kits, but the product I brought with me today is from a brand called Dawn Shop. My friend had actually told me that she was using this recently, so I tried it out myself as well, and I found it to be pretty nice. I don't know what other lash lift kits consist of, but the composition of the product I brought includes rods of various sizes, two types of perm agents, glue, primer, stick, brush, mascara brush, and perm paper. It's a set that can be done a total of 10 times, so I personally think it's good. And now if you have this eyelash lash lift kit, you need to do it yourself, but before you start, it's good to know what your eyelashes look like. Each person has different eyelashes, so it'd be best to know what kind of eyelashes your own eyelashes are, whether they're thin, thick, short, or long, etc. If you have thin eyelashes, it doesn't matter, but if you have thick and heavy eyelashes like me, it's better to lightly pinch them out with a curler before applying the lash perm. Otherwise, the lash lift won't work well. The first step before lash lift is to choose the size of the rod. The rod of the product I brought is composed of four different sizes, L for long lashes, M for average lashes, S for short lashes, and U for under lashes. If you think that your eyelashes were on the short side and used a size S, but found out that they were on the long side, your eyelashes may bend in the central part of the rod, so it's highly recommended to carefully check the size of your lashes before use. Well, this is also different for each person, but I like to raise my eyebrows and fix them with tape before doing a lash perm. Otherwise, after attaching the rod, the rod will come down and the eyelashes will not perfectly lift. And if you say that your eyes are on the short side like me, I think it'd be good to cut the rod to fit the length of your eyes. If your eyebrows are raised and fixed in place, you'll want to wipe your eyelids clean with a wet tissue first since we're going to attach the rod to our eyelids. And after that, apply the primer to a micro brush, thoroughly clean your eyelashes. Then you can apply the glue that came with the rod, but it's best not to apply too much. When attaching to the eyelids, it's better to stick them slightly apart rather than too close to the root of the lashes. If the eyelashes are raised too close from the root, it looks unnatural and unpretty. Oh, and when doing a lash lift, it's better to put the mirror down because you have to do it with your eyes half open rather than looking straight ahead. If the rod is attached to the eyelid, I'll glue my eyelashes to the rod with the glue used to attach the rod. Since the glue is a brush type, apply several times so that the eyelashes are fixed to the rod. At this time, the eyelashes should not come down after applying the glue. If you apply it carefully, use the brush part of the stick I showed you before to trim the eyelashes neatly before the glue dries. When it's well trimmed, dry it completely. Next, I'm gonna apply the perm agent. As you can see, there is step 1 cream and step 2 cream. I'll tear off the step 1 cream and apply it to the eyelashes. With a new micro brush, apply small amounts to the lashes. At this time, if you touch too much, the glue may come off and the eyelashes may come off the rod, so it's recommended to apply with minimal touch. Then put the perm paper on the lashes. After you apply on the step 1 cream, you'll need to wait for about 12 minutes. The step 1 cream is for the better absorption of the step 2 cream, but I personally find it to be best to set the waiting time according to the thickness of your eyelashes. I have thick eyelashes, so I left it on for about 15 minutes, but my friend with thin eyelashes said 10 minutes was good enough for her. After the time is up, you can wipe off the step 1 cream. Wipe off the perm agent by pushing it from the bottom up with a flat roller rather than a brush on the perm stick. After wiping it clean, apply the glue on once more to the eyelashes to fix it. Once you've fixed your eyelashes with the glue, apply the step 2 cream in the same way you applied step 1 cream, and put the perm paper on it. I also left the step 2 cream on for about 15 minutes. Personally, when I used this, there were occasions where the eyelashes on both sides of the eyelashes were different in thickness and it did not curl well on one side while the other side was curled perfectly fine despite the same amount of time used. So even though I did the same thing in the same way, the eyelashes on both sides could look different. Once the time is up, 
You can scrape it off from the bottom out with the pressure of the perm stick. When wiping with a wet tissue, wipe from the bottom to the eyelashes upwards. When you have wiped your eyelashes clean, you can remove the rod. After removing the rod, clean it thoroughly with a wet tissue. Then, comb the lash perm's lashes with a mascara brush. And now, you're done! Like this, I showed you how to do a self-lash lift. Personally, when I use this self-lash lift kit, I don't know how other products do, but I especially like the fact that it didn't sting my eyes. In the case of the perm, as it's a perm agent, the smell of the agent may be strong or there may be burning sensation in the eyes, but for me personally, neither the glue nor the perm were irritating, so it was very comfortable to use. Since this is a self-kit, it was a bit inconvenient to keep my eyes down. It's okay to try it out yourself, but if it's okay with you, I think it'd be better to have a good time doing it with your friends or family. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.